everyone welcome to a new video and in today's video we are going to start with three marker problems that came in math camp 2024 exam for grades 3 and 4 so let's get started with the very first question so the question is which square is cut into two different shapes so they have provided us four squares right and we have to tell which of the square is cut into two different shapes. Now, this question is very interesting. Let's see how we can solve this problem. Yeah. So, if you will see the options carefully, option E is made up of two different shapes. But how? Let's see. Now, if I will zoom in to... Option E, there are two shapes. This is our shape number one, correct? And then we are having shape two, which is this one. So there are two shapes. And all the squares are actually split into two shapes. Now, if we check shape one in the square, it is made up of one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, and 9 squares. So it is made up of 9 squares. Wherein, if we are going to check the second shape, it is made up of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 squares. Right? Now, if they both will be identical or same, then the number of squares it is made up of, it should be same. But as both the shapes are different, the number of squares will also vary. Right? Let's check maybe option A. So again, we are having two shapes. This is going to be our shape number one. And then we are going to have shape two, which is this one. Right? And if we will split them into small squares, so it will be one, two, three, four, five squares. And let's see shape two now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see that it is made up of eight and eight equal number of squares and same applies for option b c and even the d one i hope it makes sense so what we can say from here is option e is made up of two different shapes and that is our correct answer but let me show you the other way as well. How they are actually split in to get the better understanding. Okay. So, I will be switching my camera. So, if you can see, option 1 looks like this, right? It is the same square 4 by 4, which is split into two shapes. Shape 1 and then we are having shape 2, right? It may look different, but if I will rotate the other shape, so, actually, they both are identical. And we saw as well that these two shapes are made up of 8, 8 squares. You can even count from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, it is also made up of 8 and 8. And one more thing to check. If they are identical, they will overlap. So, let's see if they are overlapping or not. And we can see from here that both the shapes are overlapping. Right? So, that means... Option A is not having two different shapes because both the shapes are overlapping exactly over here. Right? Now let's see option B. Let me remove this. So option B looks like this, which is made up of two identical triangles and the same test we are going to do here. If they are overlapping, that means they are identical and if they are not overlapping, that means they are different shapes. So let me rotate it and let me keep it over the first shape. Now, if you will see, they both are overlapping, right? That means they both are identical shapes. Okay? Now, let's see option C. 
Option C is again made up of two identical shapes. So this is how it has been split it, right? It looks like a square only when we will attach them together. So it will form a square only, but they are actually having two shapes, which are again identical. Let's do our test. Again, I am rotating it and I will keep it just above the other one. And you can see it's identical, right? Let's check option D. Let me remove this and option D is here. Which again, it's trapezians, right? Or trapezoids. They again are made up of identical shapes. Let's do the same thing here as well, right? They both are same. Can you see that? And if I will keep it just above the other one. So again, it is going to overlap, right? There are two identical trapeziums or trapezoids. Let's check the last option, E, right? Now, the E option looks like this, right? Wherein again, it is made up of two different shapes. Are they looking same? Right? Even if I'm going to rotate it, so will they look same? No, right? And even if I will keep it on the other one, it is not going to overlap. This square and this square is not having any overlaps. Right? So that means option E is made up of two different shapes. And you can check it from here. I hope it makes sense. So we got our correct answer. That is option E. If you enjoyed watching this video, do hit the like button below and I will see you in the next video with another solution. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.